Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here, and this should be an interesting unboxing of a very, very new piece of equipment from Chell Tech. Let's take a look. Just a cardboard box. It's a little damaged on the outside through shipping. I'm going to say usually the Chell Tech people pack really well, so um, I think the packaging should be uh, protecting it. Let's see how that looks, see if I'm right. So, here we go. Okay, so this is a very exciting piece of equipment. This is a pre-release version of the brand new Cheltec uh, F407 ADAPT flight controller board. And we are now selling this board on Smart Fleet Systems. Uh, this is, um, you know, I got sent a, a pre-release version, which is uh, due to travel. Um, I wasn't able to pick up that quickly, but um, uh, you can buy the, the new production-ready versions of these. And let's have a look inside and see what we get. So here it is. This is the Cheltec Adept 407 flight controller. Inside is a legitimate, fully licensed ARM processor, uh, not produced by the, the company that normally produces them, but it's an F407 compatible, and it has one megabyte of memory and 384K of RAM. This processor runs Pilot, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, this is a, a special build of Audi Pilot uh, for now. The code will be included in the Audi Pilot Master. I'm expecting that to be in for version 4.4. But take a look at this little device. So, first of all, just the cables. Um, one thing I love that the Chotec guys do, um, here's a fairly, I mean, others do it too, but in, as well as the the USB port on the side of the device. There's also an extended cable with a USB port that can be surfaced on the outside of the vehicle. And they've given you a couple of power, power leads as well. But what also comes with any Trotec flight controller that you can get through smartfleet.systems is this additional cable package. So if you notice all the connectors on the flight controller, as with you know most modern flight controllers these days, use these JSTGH style connectors with the clip. And what we do is we provide a complete package of pretty much every different kind of cable that you need to connect these cables to whatever kind of peripheral device that you're going to need. So there's um, there's four four pin cables for connecting the UARTs. There's, uh, you know, two four pin cables for connecting uh, the old style, um, Moloch style uh, connectors, etc. It's a complete package um, of about, let's see, four plus two plus two plus two plus two. So um, 12 different cables included as, as value add. Um, no additional charge included in the package. So let's take a look at the connectors on this. So here we have on the screen, this is uh, effectively is a draft of the manual that will come with the device. And what you can see here is on the right hand side of, this, of the screen or which shows you the, the, um, the PWM pinouts on the device. And as with, you know, other flight controllers, but all the Chiltec flight controllers, they're um, color-coded uh, in here. I don't know if you can see that in there, just try to show you the color coding, but it's also shown on the screen. So we've got black, red, and yellow for ground uh, power and signal. And there are 10 PWM pins running across the top here, and they're labeled from one to 10. Then there's two, two video input pins, um, because guess what? This flight controller not only has a built-in OSD, but it has a two video, two camera inputs and a switch so that you can actually 
um, switch between two different camera inputs um, to display through onto your video out. And then finally, there's an RC in connector as well, which you can use with a standard um, S bus style. Of course, you can also connect uh, your radio control or your receiver through a UART and uh, I'll probably be doing that. I'm most likely going to be using the uh, Express LRS uh, receiver similar to what I did with the binary um, to connect into this. So uh, in terms of um, connections on the board, other connections apart from these, oh and just to mention as well as the 10 PWM outputs here, there are two additional PWM outputs and they're shown here on the second page of the board. So it's going to be, uh, so this is battery in, this is your safety switch and buzzer. And this one here, although it's a four pin JSTGH style connector, the outputs to it are ground and PWM for two additional PWM outputs on, on this connector here. So it's an interesting way to surface um, a couple of extra PWM outputs by putting them on a JSTGH, the cable would have to be broken out. So on top of the board, let's go back to the screen here, what we have, if I just line that up with the, with the screen so I can uh, talk sensibly about it. Here we have power connector, which um, supports this pretty standard um, PWM dis distribution or power distribution board. Here we have a I squared C connector. I will be using this, which is the um, Chiltec CAN based uh, airspeed sensor, which I used on the binary and works very, very well. Here we have I squared C and here we have a UART. So this is UART 4, uh, a four pin UART. This is the CAN port here. So I squared C and CAN. Still, what I said before, only one CAN port. And this is the CAN port here, this is the I squared C port, and this is um, UART. This one here in the middle is, uh, as I mentioned, the GPS, and this one over here is the video output. So this will go to the video transmitter, and we'll switch the input from one or other of the cameras coming in on these two pins over here um, to the video output on the on-screen OSD. On the side of the, the board here, what we have is the battery. This is the safety switch and buzzer, and um, a safety buzzer, and this is the um, PWM outputs. On the side of the board, we have another UART. This will be uh, UART 5. Sorry, this will be UART 5 here. And this is an additional power input. So there's there's still um, two two potentially two power inputs for uh, for example redundant power um, on this very small and very cheap board. Still has sophisticated um, capabilities like multiple power inputs. And then finally on the other side of the board we have our USB and we have um, an SD card a slot for an SD card. Now this is the pre-release version, the proper packaged version that comes uh, will come with power distribution board and, and all of the other bits and pieces. So now, obviously what we want to see is we want to see this thing work. What we have here though is, um, is the board which comes out of the box pre-installed with Arty Pilot on it. But so let's take a look. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just quickly fire up Q ground control and I'm going to plug in the flight controller. And as it's interesting where the where the LED is for the for the um, indicator of the board, um, it's it's uh, kind of embedded in the um, uh, the PWM pins. In a second, we should find. Q ground control recognizes the board. Stabilize flight mode. There we go. Basically loading up all the parameters and configuration off the board. Now what we have here is A, the board is 
Check firmware or frame class. Pre-arm. Right. Comp is not calibrated. So all of that is not surprising. The frame class not defined is, um, you know, as this comes out of the box, it's actually built, um, installed with Articopter. And what we'll probably do, I'm not sure if we'll do this as in, we'll just standard provide Articopter and give you the option to install Articlane, or, um, you know, I'm gonna try and see. Check firmware or frame class. Pre-arm, comp is not calibrated. Let's just silence that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can um, if we can have this pre-ordered with the right build installed. But if not, um, then what I'll show you now, which is I'm going to flash the Arduplane version of the F407 flight um, software, Arduplane software on this board right now. So let's see how that goes. So what we should be able to do is go to normal vehicle setup and firmware and we'll unplug the board and then plug it in again all right so we're actually going to go to advanced settings because what we're going to do is we're going to install a custom firmware file for this this is going to be in, become part of um Audi pilot um in the future for now though we're going to be providing a, a custom uh, firmware builds file for for um, for installing on the on the board. Go here into boards. We've got the edit 407, and here we have Arduplane, and that's the specially built version. It's um, I think it's 4.2.0 release candidate, but with the relevant drivers included for the specific uh, for the. Uh, CKS chip and for the um, specific hardware included on the board. All right, so it's downloading, it's installing, programming the new version. Program complete, verifying, rebooting. All right. Airspeed not initialized, cannot cal, that's great. Vehicle is not running, so it's 4.2.2 RC. Um, yes, we know it's not running this, the, the standard build. Um, but let's go have a look. So now we're running a plane uh, and it's set up with a standard set of flight modes. We've got a compass included on the board. And well, why don't we just have a quick look at uh, at the build. So here we have the Chotec Adapt F407 um, version 4.2.2 Arduplane and um, pretty much good to go. Let's, uh, let's just do the standard calibration. Make sure that everything's sort of, I mean, I'm just gonna show that everything's good and ready to go. Um, so we'll do vehicle setup and then we'll go into sensors and we'll do our accelerometer calibration. So for now, I'm gonna set it up as a, um, just as a none, as in I'm assuming that I'll mount it pointing forwards in the, in the plane. First, the plane is pointing forwards. Next, the plane is on the right. Next, the plane is on the left. Next, the plane is pointing down. Next, the plane is pointing up. And on its back. And let's reboot. And there we have it. So this is ready for me now to build this flight controller into the next build that I'm gonna do. So stay tuned for that video. I'll be having an unboxing coming right away about what my next project is gonna do and where I'm gonna be using this Cheltec F, uh, Adept F407 flight controller. Check out the flight controller and you can buy it for 66 US dollars for a fully fledged Arctic pilot capable F407 flight controller 
66 US dollars at smartfleet.systems. Thanks for watching. Tim the Plane Man, over and out.